hello friends welcome back to the channel in this simple video i'd like to show you a life hack so in the previous tutorial like three years back <laughs> the one you're seeing on your screen right now i showed you how you can access the command line interface for the example users so the one users have access to this command line they can interact with this interface or php my admin through a command line and i showed you how you exam users can also access that but somebody was like will i have to follow the steps every time i want to connect to this interface and by that time the answer was yes right now i came about a simple solution that you can use let me first take you through the old way how we manage to access this interface so on your keyboard place the window button r at the same time and this run box will come just type in cdm command right and what you have to do is go back to the root directory of your pc just write cd and a backslash press enter so where we are right now we are in this directory of local disk c if you are to press ls to list all these folders and files we want to access this folder that you're seeing exam which is here right let me put this side by side and i take you through the journey so we want to enter this folder exam so we say cd exam right now we are inside this folder exam if you are to press ls you will see all the folders and files so when you reach here we want to enter this folder called mysql the one you're seeing here mysql let me first clear the screen cls to clear the screen so we want cd my sql or oh, my sql so we want to enter this folder that you're seeing here so we press enter right now we're inside there and the moment we reach here i want to enter this folder of bin so we say cd bin right now we're inside this folder and the moment you reach here you write this command my sql dash u for user and the user for that interface is root then dash p for the password you leave it empty space dash h which is host and the host is this ip address 127.0.0.1 so what we are doing we are connecting to this interface as you can see here this is the host or host ip address now i want to connect to that interface when you reach here press enter and if at all you have a password on this interface make sure you type it here but for me i don't have any password so i just go ahead and proceed click enter and right now we have access to this interface with all these commands so the person was like will i have to write all these steps that you showed us every time i want to connect to this interface right and as i said by that time the answer was yes if at all you are doing it daily you will get used to it now let me show you that we have really connected to this interface the thing i can do is say show databases semicolon to end the statement press enter and you'll see that the databases that we have here they are the same we are having in the command line interface now press ctrl c to ex exit Ctrl C, we have exited the command line or the MariaDB interface. Now, let me just exit also here. So what we are going to do is create a simple batch file. So every time you want to connect to the interface, you don't need to follow all those steps. You just come to your batch file, run it, and it will open that command line interface. So what we are going to do is again, press window button R on your keyboard, and let us type in notepad. So we want open notepad and here we are going to create a simple command. It's only one line. So we just say start and this word start can either be in lowercase or uppercase. The choice is yours, but I want to make it stand out because it's a command which is going to be open in this batch file. So start and then we specify the directory or the drive, which is C. So we are going to follow the other steps that I showed you from here. So from this root directory, so from C, we want to enter a folder called exam. 
exam then inside this folder exam we want to enter a folder called mysql mysql backslash then here we want to enter a folder called bin then backslash so the moment you reach here is when we type in the other command that you saw mysql dash u which is root dash p for the password the one that we don't have you don't write it there the password then the host which was this one so after here just go to file save as and you can call it anything you want so i'm going to save it on my desktop and i can say connect connect my sql my sql then this is the important part make sure you save it as dot bat so the bat bat file so connect my sql dot bat you can come here and set the type to all all be there so long as you save it to bat save it and they will create a simple file here so when we click it it will open up this interface right press enter and you have access to the MariaDB interface show databases right so you have saved your time from accessing all this you just create a simple command start and specify the cd drive the directories or the path and issue this so every time you want to connect to the this interface for you guys using the exam you have created a simple file which is connect mysql.bat which is a batch file the one that you can always come and click and access this interface without following the other steps so going to the local disk stuff like that so this is what i wanted to show you in this tutorial every time you want to connect to this interface you just have a simple batch file here the one you click on and have access to this so let's use a simple database here i'm going to be using this database austin code cipher so right now they say mariadb and the square brackets i have austin code cipher that's the database i can say show tables and it will show me all the tables in this database right that means we have now successfully connected to this interface as you can see the, the tables that are here they are the ones that are here you can describe a table by writing disk and say this is a blog and I'll show you all this right now it's congested because I had to squeeze the screen but that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial peace